Legend Total War here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster Battle playing Historic Iron Braille, going up against Grimgor Ironhide, where we've got a Gyrocopter Brimstone Gun Doomstack, and he says in the email that he just runs out of ammunition, you know. There's not much that Grimgor can really do here to shoot us out of the sky. Uh, we've got some units that can stalk, but yeah, he's just ends up running out of ammo, which has always been one of my problems with the Gyrocopter Brimstone Gun. It's very difficult to dish out, like, loads of value. Because, like, 28 ammunition, that seems like a lot, but, you know, uh, that can really run out, especially when you're dealing with just loads and loads of troops. So I think what we need to do here is really make sure that we don't shoot at shit like goblins, because that's just such a waste of ammunition. Uh, we do have some reinforcements over here, which is almost useless, with the exception of the Master Engineer. That guy there can replenish ammunition. Now, I really think we need to not control large armies, because I think that... Um, a huge... Oh, hang on a second. No, those guys there will give away the game early, which we don't want, because they'll come in and reinforce and give away the position. We need to make sure we've got units on the ground. That's really, really important. I don't know what we're going to do entirely to hide all of these guys, apart from maybe put them on the forest. This one here stalks. So if we put them over here, we should be okay. Um, as for this one, I don't know what I can do about that. Yoked kind of saw. Um... If we have a look, its speed is 75, which it's outrun by most of their fast units, so I don't know, I think that one might be doomed. But anyway, let's jump in here and see what we can do, see if we can do a better job than this guy. If we have a look at some of these... Um, yeah, put that there. Doesn't need physical resistance, it's not going to get shot down. Um, yeah, I can't put it on characters. All right, we'll just see what we can do. Yeah. Hang on, let me see this one again. Snipe. Yeah, these ones here don't need it. All right, let's jump in so we can do. So, yeah. There's loads of ways we can go about this, because like, if we could control large armies and get them into a massive blob, dropping down bombs on all those goblins would be really good. But the Wa army that's coming in as reinforcements isn't worth anywhere near as much bounce of power as the main force here. Uh, Grimgore tends to forget to put the, um, the, the Immortals banner on his units, <laughs> sometimes. Alright, so our army's technically stronger than his to begin with. Alright, so these, these three here can hide in the forest. So looking at the map here. Just gotta be careful. Keep this one safe. It's got snipe, so it technically can shoot and not give away the position, but I think just for the time being, um, preserve its ammunition for maybe later down the track. Yeah, and as for the yoked carnosaur, I don't know what I can do about that. I'd easily swap it out for the master engineer in here. Because, yeah, I, I can't hide it. But, yeah, the problem is, if it leaves the battlefield, a unit's going to come in here, and I'm not going to be able to run it over here quickly enough, unless they're all on the other side. So maybe that's what we need to do. We need to run over here and retreat while they're here, and then this slow bastard just needs to run to here as quickly as possible. Maybe that's what we need to do. Alright, we'll see what we can do. Okay, you just make a run for it over there, and you guys need to leg it over here. So it's just a matter of how we, how well we can use up this ammo. So I turned him off fire at will to begin with. Now, if we have a look at Grimgore himself, he has 32% ward save, 25% missile, uh, missile resistance. So shooting him, he's worth a lot of bounce of power, but he's going to resist a lot of the damage. It is anti-large as well, and Grimgore is technically a small target. Being caught here. Try to get it over to the edge. It's just too quick. You don't want to be shooting at it just yet. Just keep running, keep running. Yeah, we're going to take some damage. Okay, I think shooting at the Orc Boar Boys here is not a bad use of our ammunition, but as long as we're accurate, that's the most important thing. Good, want them to come over here. 
But yeah, don't just completely offload onto them. Or else it'll uh, waste ammunition. Don't drop bombs on them either. Try to get over to the edge here and just get them off the battlefield. If we can route them early, that would be really helpful. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Oh, great timer. No, we should be done well before then. Okay, that's it. Now, stop firing. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, cool. One unit gone without really having spent much bounce power. That's good. That's good. It's a start. Like I said, there's no real escape for the yoked Kynosaur. Is there... What if we could keep running and keep just shooting at their fast units? Maybe I can eventually get them. I don't know if I should be spending... Yeah, you got to be careful about just offloading onto them because they could end up shooting the same targets. But at the same time, that did pretty well there. I'm not really at all concerned about their archers. Keep moving. Because, yeah, they just, they just don't have that much. And if they don't actually kill any of the entities, we should be fine. You know, if they had guns, I'd worry about that, but, you know, they don't. Okay, hopefully we get rid of the, another Orc Boar Boy. Good. Okay, don't, don't shoot, don't shoot. Okay, that's it. Keep moving. Okay, this is so far so good. Oh, no, I don't want to fight that garbage. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, so... The, um... The Snotling Pump Wagons are definitely a good target. This is, like, ideal for these ones to shoot, because they've got high damage shots, and they have uh, low hit points. And they're definitely large. Good. Moving that dude around. Also, the more we mo more we move around, the um, the more tired they're going to get as well. Okay, once it's routed, that's fine. Yeah, staying close to the edge here can be good. One way we can preserve our ammunition is by routing these units, so that way we there's just fewer that we actually need to kill. Not even gonna worry about that unit, don't even bother shooting at it. But yeah, last thing we wanna do is just open fire on them and just waste all of our ammunition on bad targets. Cause yeah, if that was his problem, that he just couldn't use his ammunition effectively, then I gotta do a really good job with this. And make sure that every single shot counts. Which means just opening fire on every bloody unit is gonna be a bad call. Like shooting at nasty skulkers with these, bad call. that our dudes don't rat. Shooting at orc boar boys, sorry, orc boys here, that would be a mistake. Okay, what are these? Stone trolls? Um, stone trolls. Uh, yeah, those, those are fine. They've got the missile resistance, but they're high value. Now, we've got to get rid of them quickly because they've got regeneration, so that's why we're completely offloading on them. Because, yeah, the longer they're here, regenerating, the more ammunition we need to actually get rid of them. So even if a few shots are wasted now, just get them off the battlefield nice and quickly. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Just escort them off. No, not you. You go back. Just escort them off the battlefield. Because, yeah, let's just focus on winning and not worry too much about wiping out this army here. Because it's going to come down to this. We're not really going to take many casualties in this battle. Not really. Right, because they just they can't really dish out that much damage to us. All they can hope to do to win this 
is waste their ammunition. And if their army only takes, you know, 50% casualties, well, that's still going to be better than what we take, even if we lose. So... Let's win, and then you can sally out and finish them off. Alright. So, wasting a little bit of this ammo here, just so it stops annoying us, is not a bad call, I think. And uh, I think what's going on here with the yoked kind of so we'll just keep moving it round and round is fine. And we can get it off the battlefield any time that we want, apart from, you know, actually hit and withdraw. But what I mean by getting it off the battlefield is just like going into melee, it should rout eventually, and then just bring in the master engineer from the other side. Alright, another good target would be the orc boar chariots. Like I said, what I'm trying to do here is just aim for all the best targets first. All the all the large big boys. Alright, how fast are they? 79. Okay, they're faster than the, the um the Carnosaur, so we gotta to try to shoot that. Yeah, so they're really good anti-large, that's for sure, but there's just so much infantry here. Carnosaurs are anti-large, so they can do a bit of damage to it, but this guy's just really badly hurt. A bit more damage to it. Alright, just leave it be. Nah, it's gonna rally. Okay, yeah, if you could fight it again. Alright, keep moving. We're taking a little bit of damage, but no casualties, so... All of this damage will be restored as long as we don't take any... Any, uh, kills. Good, that one's shattered. That preserves our ammunition. Alright, so this one here is completely out of ammo now. Now, let's start with a bit of a bombing run. Just really efficiently, just use them one at a time as best as we can. Make sure these bombs really hit hard. <laughs> wasn't much. But you know, it's something. It's better than using the regular ammo. Because we've used a fair bit up already. I think we are going to have to shoot Grimgore, because he is worth a lot of bounce of power. Yeah, these big clusters. You get quite a few kills on that. Okay, one thing that we could do here, this one's isolated. I was just thinking, if we landed all of our guys here... No, I think that's a mistake. If we kill Grimgore, then it's okay, I suppose. Um, he doesn't have any regen abilities. And since they're all going to aim for the exact same person, just offload on him. Let's try to get rid of him now. Yeah, look at that. That's not ideal. We are doing some damage to him, but we've got... Everybody attacking him. All right, get over here. Let's see if we can get rid of this um, this Goblin Wolf Rider. But we want to go into melee with it, preserve our ammunition, because that thing is not worth shooting. And we did a fair bit of damage to Grimgore, I guess. I don't know. I was just kind of hoping they just one shot him. So yeah, we go into melee, that way we preserve ammunition. Because we can get out of here real quick. I gotta wonder how efficient he was in this battle. Whether he was trying to make sure every single shot counted, or whether he just, like, shot goblins. I just have no idea. Okay. Let's try to go for Grimgore again. I 
Well, he's not among other units. That way, when we miss, at least we hit other things. Because they're not 100% accurate. Those archers, while they're not that much of a concern, we shouldn't just let them shoot us. The more we move around, the better. Okay, make your way back over there again. Okay, Gungor's just about gone. That's good. Hopefully we can... We're not going to be able to write the Black Orcs, but we should be able to get rid of all like those Orc boys. Don't even bother trying to shoot the Goblin Big Boss. Way too small. Uh, we don't want him to just leave the battlefield. It would be much better if he actually gets wounded. Because if he leaves the battlefield, um, they won't have a permanent leadership debuff. But if he gets wounded... Okay, he's gone. Good. They get a permanent minus 10 leadership debuff. Which just gets rid of very hard battle difficulty debuff. Oh, their bonuses from that. Okay. So, in terms of what remains here, what we should get rid of, I wouldn't worry about shooting this, because if that goes near the Carnosaur, it'll probably much, pretty much route straight away. Um, in terms of their value, gotta get rid of the highest value units, which would be the Black Orcs. Alright, let's try using the Carnosaur to herd them around a little bit. Maybe go for, um... See if we can get them into a blob. Still got these guys here shooting at us. So yeah, what I want to try to do is just try to run circles around them, because they've lost all their fast units now, apart from this one, which shouldn't really be a threat. Yeah, see how they're all targeting the Carnosaur here? They're starting to close in on each other. That's going to make it a lot better for our bombers. Yeah, opportunities for bombing starting to present itself. We definitely don't want to waste our ammunition shooting bloody Orc Arrow Boys. That'd be a bloody waste. Going in for another bombing run somewhere over here. We really want to get rid of, like, goblins with it. Ah, damn this. Let me down. Okay, okay, okay. So far, so good, I think. I think the battle's gone about as well as it could have so far. And the bounce power's definitely improved. And you know, we can get a bit more ammunition. Okay, there we go. So I didn't want to waste ammunition on it. Alright, this one here is taking too much damage. We just don't want any individual gyrocopters getting destroyed. We can lose as much hit points as we want as long as nobody dies. Alright, this guy here is not in good shape. He's definitely done his worst. Just from the distraction value. Uh, oh god, you gotta steer clear of nasty skulkers. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. I've gotta go around back the other way. Let's actually drop some bombs on these two. Oh, hang on, these. This one here doesn't have bombs. Nah, that may not have been worth it. Okay. Uh, it's not the biggest blob ever, ever, but we just just go for it. This one over here, the nasty skulkers would be good. Nah, that wasn't perfect. All 
Alright, yeah, so we don't want to waste ammunition on them. But at the same time, they're annoying me. So I just need to get rid of their ammunition. So we just take the uh, the gyro bombers, uh, sorry, gyro copters that have the most amount of health and let them get shot by it for a bit. What I really need to be shooting are these black orcs. How much ammunition is this? F26. Okay. Got an idea that we could possibly do in a bit. I won't rely on it just yet. Alright, let's see how much damage we do to Black Orcs. Eh, it's, it's damage, it's not heaps though. The problem here now is that there's just no really good targets. It's just everything remaining is infantry, and this is all anti-large. You know, while every individual shot does do a lot of damage, there's so many entities here, it just doesn't do a lot of damage to large groups of infantry. This is where the regular uh, gyrocopters would have been a good idea. So maybe having a mix of the two would be useful. Try and hit with it with canyon here. Yeah, like I said, try to avoid shooting the uh, the orc boys. They're just low value. Their lives are worth less than our ammunition. And we'll try to figure something else out for, with that. Probably the grudge throwers. And yeah, trying to shoot the single entities here, I just don't think that's a great idea. They're too small. Unless they're standing amongst other units. Then maybe, even if we miss them, we still hit other units. Maybe. Shit. 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 Oh god, I did a lot of damage there. Come on, you got 100 health left, you dumbass carnosaur. Oh wait, this is unbreakable. We can't get it off the battlefield. Oh, yeah. Well, if it dies, which does seem likely now, then... You know, you can get it back in 10 turns pretty easily. So, not the end of the world. Uh, Biggin's probably worth shooting. Because there's still a lot of units to come onto the battlefield. Let's go here. Five restocks. Yeah, that's that's. We can get one of them back up to full ammo. All right. It's time to start doing Plan B, which is to utilize this grudge thrower and hopefully use its snipe to full effect. Because, yeah, we could reload these guys here, but... Hang on, these, um... They just got themselves isolated. And since they're all slow and actually quite tired, we should actually be able to beat these orc arrow boys. In melee, they're, yeah, they're just isolated. And that way we just preserve some ammunition. And if we completely dogpile them... We should be able to break them, especially because Grimgore is gone. And just get him off the battlefield. And look, these ones over here, they just don't even give a shit. Good. Good, that one broke. Send every one of them except for one over here to get rid of the Night Goblin Archers. Go just escort that one off the battlefield. So far, no casualties. Alright. Sometimes you just gotta wait for a good opportunity to present itself. So this one here shouldn't rally, even though its leadership is back, you know, above zero. 
shouldn't rally while they have an enemy unit nearby. Alright. Now, trying to use this. So what we want to do with this is guide them into roughly this area here and run around this way, but don't come any closer. That way we can use its ammunition, because I think this one's ammunition is going to be way better for killing infantry than the gyrocopters. Way, way, way better. But also, we should try to hit blobs. Alright, cool. That one's shattered. Get over there, help out with that. Alright, let's see here. I don't think there's anything I can do to heal it. Alright, aim specifically for the Black Orcs and we'll just see how we go. So this one here has... It looks like homing shot. Yeah, and snipe. Okay, that feels like it's doing more damage than the uh, gyrocopter. So yeah, now we just encircle them a little bit, just trying to get hit again. Because he's got a hundred health remaining. But yeah, they have no idea where it's coming from and they're not going for it. Well, that kind of looks like it is, but I think it's just reforming. Okay, isolated goblin unit over here. No armor piercing on that unit, so we should be fine to... What is that doing? I don't like that. What is it doing? Alright, take this out without using up ammunition. Because, yeah, I figured that if we can get isolated goblin units, we can just wrap them straight away. What is this one here doing? Actually, Thoric might be able to beat that quite quickly. Oh, that's... Okay. I could use that when we're charging in. Okay, this is kind of working here. Alright, give it a rest for a little bit. But yeah, if the odd goblin is just coming in here, it's so much more efficient if we just uh, just route it off the battlefield than shoot it. Because the ammunition's worth balance of power. We've got to preserve our balance of power in order to inflict the army losses. Okay, just let that one leave the battlefield as quickly as possible so that more of them come in here. And we'll just keep these guys over here distracted. Okay, this is kind of working. And I think that the uh, the grudge throwers there is working out pretty well as well. Just don't let them get too close. Good, another goblin unit that we can get rid of really easily. Okay. And this time, if we pop this down straight away... All of these guys will have fear effect on it as well. We'll get rid of it really quick. Oh, watch out if one of those... Shots hit the Carnosaur with friendly fire. I feel like a fucking Skaven. Come on. Running around with 100 health. Yeah, let's go for the Black Hawk there. This one here just wouldn't quite break. Maybe because I didn't properly surround it. Did it do much damage? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Still no casualties yet. Alright, so that goblin managed to do 1,300 damage. That's too much. i got to do a bit more efficient than that. Okay, get back up. Should be another goblin unit to come in. Come on up before it gets over here. So this one here, yeah, it's just getting a few kills, not amazing. Okay, another goblin over here. Yeah, just keep them distracted, just keep taking out the goblins one at a time. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't know about homing shot. Never really felt like it was all that good. Yeah, see, we're going to route that one a lot easier, even though I don't have the fear effect in, just because uh, we kind of pincered that one, where I didn't do that with the other one. Just rushed in there. Alright, just quit it. You're only shooting garbage there. It's a waste of ammunition. Just keep running around them, although they keep going wider, which isn't ideal. Good. This one here only did 33 damage. That is much better. That's what we want to see. Okay. This is looking good. Alright, bring this one back just a little bit. I'll go uh, restore its ammunition. Ah, oh, shit, it rallied. You know what's funny? One vindictive glare on this. Dead. But they... They're just, um, they're just not casting it. Sometimes the AI just doesn't know when to cast a spell. Okay, that one's gone. What's next? Another goblin unit. Cool. Okay, I'll put that down in a moment. Bouncer power's looking good, but I'm not entirely sure how much reinforcements they've got left. Okay, so over here, so I'm just gonna give this one back some ammo. Good, we routed it. You can tell because of the little white flag. And this one here did how much damage? Only 46, good. a little bit closer because we moved that back. Still got the ammunition on these guys as well. But yeah, by not using up all of their ammo, we're preserving our balance of power. Okay, get back up. Let's get rid of these shit goblins. The thing is, goblins can be really useful when you've got a... Uh, ammunition based army just because they're so low value that shooting them is actually detrimental to your forces you gotta get rid of them somehow uh, crap 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 I've let them over here too close too close um, just bomb that because it's uh, in a bit more of a cluster than the others This one here didn't break straight away. Still no casualties, which is good. How's this going? Oh, damn it, another thousand damage down. And how's this one doing? Okay, it's just a just an orc arrow boy. We can sort that out. Get in there. Like, so that means there's no more goblins to come in. Good. Come on, get this guy off the battlefield. Just really quick before he's done any damage to us. Good. Get back. Alright, I, I kind of feel like we're going to inflict the army losses fairly soon. What's this? Another unit of archers, not goblins. Okay, cool. Take them out. This 
this one doing that much damage to us. No, that's fine. Still no casualties, which is good. Good, hitting the odd Black Orc there. Good. Have a look at the damage they've done. 16,000. Good. Alright, more archers over here. Go took him out. What are they? Yeah, more Night Goblin archers. That's good. They're worth a fair bit of balance of power. Night Goblin archers. So getting rid of them with them only doing like four or 500 damage is really good. It's also good to preserve the bombs because even... Even that's worth balance of power as well. Good, got rid of them really quick. Good, more goblin archers. Easy to get rid of them. Yeah, I think the guy relied too heavily on these guys here ammunition and they just didn't have enough. But yeah, using these as actual hit and runs is not something I thought I would be doing in this battle. But it's working. While they're all just chasing this dude. And here, I've always said- oh god. That dwarfs can't cheese. Although, if anyone was going to cheese, it was going to be Thorek. Alright, is that it? Is that the last of the reinforcements, or is there still more to come? I think that might be it. Just give it a moment. Yeah, these homing shots are actually really inaccurate. <laughs> it's... fucking suck. Three of these. If you have a look, every time we do that, we gain like a tiny little bit of bit of bounce of power. Obviously it would be a lot better if they were in like big cluster, but they're spreading out a bit more now. Probably because they've lost all their missile units. Alright, there's definitely no more reinforcements coming. So, we've still got these guys' ammunition. What are we going to do? Obviously, with these ones here, we should be shooting Black Orcs. Don't know what else they should be shooting. Except for maybe biggers, but they definitely shouldn't be shooting Orc Boys. Far for a moment. For the gods. Also, you gotta love how in Warhammer 2, when a unit runs out of ammunition, it doesn't immediately go into melee like in Warhammer 3. Like in Warhammer 3, you're gonna have to really babysit these kind of units when they're running low on ammunition because as soon as they run out, even if you've got them on guard mode, they're just gonna land. I don't know who decided that would be a good idea. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, that one didn't actually have ammunition. That was actually my bad. That wasn't the game's fault. <laughs> that's, my, that's actually my fault. It's okay, no harm. No harm done. No one died. Okay, I've got to try to get some bounce of power. I feel like we can inflict the army losses now if we just had a bit more bounce of power. Maybe I should move out the ones that have used up all their ammo. Just go sit over here, so that I don't accidentally send them into melee. Now, I don't think it's a good idea for us to use the extra ammo on anything other than the grudge throwers, because I feel like that's where you get the most amount of value out of their shots. And there we go, we did it. Ammunition used up way more effectively than what he did, because he can win the battle. And we got him. 
Now we can fire at will. Oh, what the hell? But is it not unbreakable anymore? Yeah, maybe best aim for the unit that's going to be the most difficult to deal with in the next battle. The the smart, uh, tiny single entities. Which I don't think we're going to need to deal with because all of these gyrocopters will be fully restored because we took no casualties in this battle. Zero deaths. Bit of damage on the yoked carnosaur. But otherwise, zero deaths. Okay, carnosaurs are not great at running units down, and I don't want to accidentally shoot it. That would make me feel real stupid. And we just try to get as much damage out of this as, as we can. Might as well. It'll just make the next battle a lot easier for him. Because you'll probably have to fight it manually, or else, um, in an auto resolve, you'll definitely end up losing the yoked carnosaur. Alright, there we go. So, yeah, that was really just about making sure that we, at no point, ever shot something that just wasn't worth it. And I reckon that's what he did. He spent time shooting at units that just wasn't worth it. Like, orc boys, arrow boys, all that kind of stuff. We actually went into melee with those units. Had to get rid of Grimgore, I think that was really important. You know, shoot the large units, because they're, they're very good anti-large units, for sure, but they're shit anti-infantry. See, we didn't actually kill that much of them. We killed about half, but, you know, it will be a lot easier for him to inflict the army losses on him again, using, using this, for sure. Um, also, it might have helped you to have Lightning Strike. Cough up and clear off. So let's have a look at how he's leveled up um, Thorek. How can he be turned 63 but only ranked 21? Yeah, he didn't go down the blue line at all. That would have helped you out a lot because we wouldn't have had to deal with half their army. But anyway, that's up to you how you want to level up this. You, you can handle this from here. This shouldn't be a problem for you. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. I learned something from this battle as well. How to do a little bit of cheese with dwarves. It's actually a pretty good army. You know, consider it, look, no damage done to any of them. It's just the yoked carnosaur. Man, that replenish rate sucks, but what are you going to do? Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.